Thank you for your uh, introduction, Chair. Uh, I will talk about the food and soul from the perspective of intangible cultural heritage defined in the UNESCO's Convention for the Safeguarding of Intangible Cultural Heritage and its inscription on the representative list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Among the elements regarding food and soul uh, on the UNESCO's representative list, beer culture in Belgium might be the best example for today's conference. When I received the uh, draft of the conference program, one speaker would talk about Belgian beer. However, unfortunately, today's conference does not deal with uh, Belgian beer, even though Professor uh, Nick Kreis talked about it in brief. So I will introduce two other example elements traditional Mexican cuisine and Georgian traditional Quebec winemaking methods. Then I will compare two kinds of distilled liquor, such as Jeju Kosori Sul and Riku Awamori, in order to examine how Sul or distilled liquor becomes intangible cultural heritage. Because Professor Nick Kreis had already talked about definition and the domains of ICH intangible cultural heritage by UNESCO, I skip this slide. Operational directives for the implementation of the convention set the criteria for inscription on the representative list. Among five criteria, the first criterion is the most important one in order to examine how soul or tested liquor becomes intangible cultural heritage. The first criteria is that the element should constitute intangible cultural heritage as defined in the convention. Traditional Mexican cuisine is the first element regarding food and drink inscribed on the representative list in 2010. According to the decision of the Intergovernment Committee for the Safety Guarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage, traditional Mexican cuisine meets the first criterion regarding intangible cultural heritage. That is to say, traditional Mexican cuisine is central to the cultural identity of the communities that practice and transmit from generation to generation. The Intergovernment Committee summarizes traditional Mexican cuisine as follows. Traditional Mexican cuisine is a comprehensive cultural model comprising farming, ritual practices, age-old skills, culinary techniques, and ancestral community customs and manners. Traditional Mexican cuisine is made possible by collective participation in the entire traditional food chain, from planting and harvesting to cooking and eating. The basis of traditional Mexican cuisine system is founded on corn, beans, and chili. The basis of the system is also founded on unique farming methods such as milpas, uh, that is rotating Sweden fields of corn and other crops, and chinampas, that is man-made farming islets in lake areas, cooking uh, processes, and singular utensils, including 
grinding stones and the stone mortars. Mexican cuisine is elaborate and symbol laden with everyday tortillas and tamale, tamales, first made of corn, forming an integral part of Day of the Dead offerings. The knowledge and the techniques of female cooks and other practitioners express community identity, reinforce social bonds, and build stronger local, regional, and national identities. Next is the Georgian winemaking. Kubebri winemaking is practiced throughout Georgia, particularly in village communities where unique varieties of grapes are grown. The Kubebri is an egg-shaped earthenware vessel used for making, aging, and storing the wine. According to the decision of the Intergovernment Committee, Asian Georgian traditional Kubebri winemaking method meets the first criterion regarding intangible cultural heritage. That is to say, the knowledge and the skills associated with winemaking uh, and the making of the Kubebri jars are widely practiced and transmitted informally from generation to generation, ingrained in the everyday life of Georgians, they maintain social and religious significance. The winemaking process involves pressing the grapes and then pouring the juice, grape skins and stalks and pips into the kebabri which is sealed and buried in the ground so that wine can ferment for five to six months before being drunk. Most farmers and the city dwellers use this method of making wine. Wine plays a vital role in everyday life and in the celebration of secular and religious events and rituals. Wine cellars are still considered the holiest place in the family home. The tradition of Kubabri winemaking defines the lifestyle of local communities and forms an inseparable part of their cultural identity and inheritance. With wine and vines frequently evoked in Georgian oral traditions and songs. Knowledge and the experience of Kubabri manufacture and winemaking are passed down by families, neighbors, friends, and relatives, all of whom join in communal harvesting and winemaking activities. Children learn how to tend the vines, press grapes, ferment wine, collect clay, and make and fire Kubabris through observing their elders. Several kinds of Korean traditional liquor were designated as national intangible cultural property of Korea or provincial intangible cultural property. Mumbeju, Myeongchon Dugyeonju, and Gyeongju Gyodong Bobju were designated in 1986 as a national intangible cultural property of Korea. While Kosori Sul was designated in 1995 as Jeju Province intangible cultural property. In Japan, traditional sake brewing, including armory, will be registered as registered intangible folklore cultural property a new list of Japan. Three elements of a Korean traditional liquor, such as Mumbeju, uh, Myeongchon Dugyeonju, 
and Gyeongju Gyodong Bobju was submitted for cycle 2010 of the representative list. In conformity with the decision of the committee and the priorities indicated by the Republic of Korea, however, three nomination files of <coughs> Korean traditional liquor have not been treated by the uh, committee due to the limited capacities of the committee, its bodies, and the secretary. Because UNESCO's webpage does not provide access to backlog files, I don't know whether the nomination file of Korean traditional liquor meet the first criterion regarding intangible cultural heritage. The vessel used to distill soju is called uh, sojugori or gojori in Korean language. But in Jeju language, it is called gosori. Gosori mm. sul is Jeju local soju distilled from omegi sul, made of rice, millet, and malt by using gosori urban wear. Gosori sul was greatly enjoyed by Jeju people, but it remains traditional liquor nowadays as Jeju province intangible cultural property. Ryukyu Amori is the oldest distilled alcoholic drink in Japan. During the 15th century, Distilled alcoholic drinks and their distillation techniques and materials were introduced to the Ryukyu dynasty through transactions with Siam, which is modern day Thailand. Indica or non-stick and long-grained rice, also called Thai rice, is malted, becoming goji, that is mold which is then fermented with the addition of water and yeast before undergoing a single distillation to complete armory. Armory is also called island sake, shima jake. The photo shows one of the scenes during shima jake festa in Okinawa. The traditional techniques passed down among the islanders create the flavor of Okinawa. Since Aomori is still greatly enjoyed by Okinawa, Aomori symbolized the identity of the, of the local people as living heritage by calling Aomori a soul of Okinawa. Mm. Whenever I have visited Okinawa, I have enjoyed Aomori with local cuisine. However, when I brought Aomori with me, returning back to Jeju Island, I could not enjoy it in Jeju as much as in uh, Okinawa. At least some uh, alcoholic drinks, such as the traditional ones, are a part of local culture, including local cuisine. Nowadays, Kozori Sul remains traditional liquor under the Korean system of cultural property protection. Korean system of cultural property protection emphasizes the preservation of tangible property in an original form and the safeguarding of intangible property in terms of a typicality. Even though the term cultural property in Korean language is translated into cultural heritage in English language. Korean system of intangible cultural property protection does not accommodate well the notion of living heritage in the UNESCO's convention. In contrast to Gosori Sul, Aomori symbolized the identity of local people and it becomes intangible cultural heritage as living heritage. 
food also in itself cannot be intangible cultural heritage. According to the nomination files, four domains of intangible cultural heritage in the UNESCO Convention are identified in traditional uh, Mexican cuisine, Georgia traditional winemaking, and Belgian beer. All of Mexican cuisine, Georgian winemaking, and Belgian beer are manifested in the domain of social practices, rituals, and festive events, and the domain of knowledge and practices concerning nature and the universe. When Sul is a part of cultural identity of local people, ingrained in everyday life, and has social significance, Sul becomes intangible cultural heritage with the domains of social practices, knowledge and practices concerning nature, and traditional craftsmanship. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much, Professor Yu. Um, I think we're going to go on a break a little bit. And uh, when we come back, um, there's going to be a very interesting talk. I, I think uh, uh, I know people in, in Korea still four o'clock, but uh, uh, us uh, in LA is getting late. And uh, for Jeff, it's very, very late. <laughs> but uh, uh, we'll, uh, we're going to enjoy this uh, talk uh, at four o'clock. Uh, PM local time in Korea um, uh, by uh, uh, Naga Resh. Um, he's a, a really good friend of mine, um, and uh, we're just going to be a pleasure uh, to listening to uh, his his talk about the uh, process of building an off grid brewery, uh, which is very much involved in. So let's go on a break and we'll come back at uh, 4 PM. Thank you so much. <laughs>